on Tower 2 at the Brittany and because the doors open a lot the grills have condensation on them user. It's in the 60s but it's below the dew point because the door to the lobby is constantly opening so it's subject to a lot of outside air right there. The drywall is wet at the edge of the grill. And the dew point currently is 66 degrees and the diffuser is colder than that so that's why we're getting condensation on there and here we got a 65 degree dew point and since the diffuser is dipping down to 60 degrees and right adjacent to it there's lots of condensation and we get the diffuser out lots of condensation on it so I have to dry it off first and now we're going to test this product on the diffuser. It says first we apply the base coat. So we'll put that on and wait 30 minutes. Okay, so we've got the diffuser all dried off. We're going to apply the base coat. to wait 30 minutes so it's 902 so at 932 we can put on the second coat okay so it's it's dry now we've allowed enough time and more than enough time so we'll go ahead and put the second coat on see what happens Okay, so now we've got the grill with the coating on it installed back in the ceiling. Uh, the floor is dry as we begin. And we're going to see if condensate forms on the diffuser and does the condensate form on the floor below the diffuser. Okay, the dew point bouncing around between 64 65 degrees as the door opens and closes and the diffuser is cooler than the dew point so we're seeing parts of the diffuser in the 50s so we're a good five or six degrees below the dew point we should be able to see if this makes a difference and And this is the diffuser that we did not spray. It's got uh, lots of condensation on it. See the moisture on that diffuser forming as it's uh, exposed to humid air coming through the door. Now this is the coated diffuser. It's been installed now for a few minutes and we still don't have any condensate on it. But we'll wait a an hour or so and see if anything develops. But right now it's dry and the floor below it is still dry. Okay, we've had the coating on for one hour and so far no condensate on this diffuser, although its surface temperature is below the dew point. And this is the diffuser that doesn't have the coating and you can see the condensate drops of water when we look at it in thermal, those yellow spots you see are the droplets of water. When we're looking at it in thermal, shows up as a yellow color, right where the uh, right where the water droplets have formed. That's on the diffuser that doesn't have the coating on it. The diffuser that does have the coating, and there are no spots of water that show up 
and so far no moisture is showing up on the floor. The floor is staying dry. And that was one of the things we wanted to know. If we don't form condensate that collects on the diffuser, is it going to simply come off and land on the floor? And so far that has not been the case. The floor is still dry. As we get very close to it, I can detect just a mist. Just a mist forming right there. So it's, it's not quite able to form large droplets, but I am able to see just a misty spot that's forming right on that corner. A little misty area right there. You can see the much smaller droplets, but they are on there. The entire surface of this diffuser is cold enough to form condensate. And you can see a mist right there. Got a little bit of condensate right there on the diffuser. One that we didn't coat, the droplets form and adhere to the aluminum. Much larger droplets of water on this one. And this is the one that did not get the coating. Okay, it's been almost two hours we've been testing. This is the one that did not get the coating, and it has the large droplets, just like they both have had each summer. And those show up in thermal as these uh, yellow dots that you see. That's the moisture right there accumulating on that diffuser. And there is no moisture on the floor below either one of these. This is the diffuser that did get the coating and it has a slight mist on it. It's uh, a good four degrees below the dew point of the air coming through that door and it forms a mist but it's not been able to form large droplets. Uh, it is wet enough for microbial growth so it still wouldn't eliminate maintenance and having to constantly wipe these down in order to make sure nothing microbial grows on them. But it does not form large droplets like it did before it had the coating. Again, looking at it in thermal, we don't see any large droplets. That's the screw head where the screw is. But it does not have the large droplets of water that it formed before we put the coating on it.